go to the Dagobah system. Dagobah system? There you will learn from Yoda, the Jedi Master who instructed me. Man! Hi everyone, just starting my um, Dagobah diorama. I've just finished my uh, Hoff rather kiss a wookie, but I haven't, obviously I've got to just do the face work on here, but that'll be later on. So the Dagobah, I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. So basically this is going to be the main ground. This is going to be all uh, swamp water. So just a bit of polystyrene for the, to build up the ground there. And the background, this is just a... Uh, uh, printed off the internet, I got a picture off the internet and enlarged it. And then I'm using for the hut itself, I'm using a Christmas pudding <laughs> top, which is going to kind of go like that, if you got know what I mean. And then I'm using the top of a spray bottle to kind of go in there to make the it's going to go in a bit, I haven't finished it yet. That's going to oops, hang on. So that's going to sit in there a little bit. I'm going to dig all that out to get it better. And I'm going to find something to go over this to bring this out, this little hole here. I might put a light inside it to, so it all shines through. And then I'm going to cover all this in sort of paper mache. Probably use PVA and, and water and paper and just like fold it on. I'm going to build a little a tree up behind it. And yeah, so um, I'm going to carry on now. And yeah, I'll see you later. So th there you go, it's all stuck together. So the the paint spray lid here, I've masking taped it to the to the Christmas pudding tub. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to go like that. And then I'm going to cover it all in. Uh, I'm going to make something for this here to make that stick out as well. This little little window thing here. And then there's going to be a chimney coming out the back here. Basically, I'm following the picture I've got there. I don't know how well that's coming out, but so I'm basically following that picture there. What I've got on my computer. So yeah, I'll be okay, back. Okay, so a bit. I've made the little window here, and I, what I used for this bit over here is a lid off a ice cream if you can see that see i'll just cut the top off this is a nice like a 99 ice cream cover so you've got the ice cream in it because covers the ice cream and the bit of flake what goes in it for that and for the chimney here i use this roll here which is from tinfoil roll so the, the end of the tin foil, you get a roll like this left. So yeah, so I'll use that for the chimney, just that little bit there. Okay. And obviously just stuck it together with um with tape again. Masking tape. Okay, so now no, okay, so I've just made the base for the tree here. It looks a bit skinny at the moment, it's a bit slim, but it's gonna get wider now when I start putting the paper mache in probably bits of paper, newspaper and stuff, stuffing it in and bringing it all out here, all over here and around there. So that's that for the minute. Okay, so now I've just made the little chimney bit here. I made that out of a, a pen. So I'll use the, see that, the top of that pen just to make okay, the chimney. Okay, so now I'm gonna, Get some bits of paper, dip it in watered down PVA, just like that, and I'm going to start coating it. Layers of uh, PVA newspaper all over it, and this is the so it, so when I put my filler on it, it give it a good bond sort of thing because it won't bond very well on plastic. So I'm going to carry on doing that. Oh, I'm not going to do it on camera because it's slightly obvious what to do, you know what I mean? Just got to lay your bits of paper 
over the hut. Okay, so this is all dry now. This is the next day, it's all dry. And I've just knocked up a bit of paste. This paste here. So it's quite, uh, you know, that kind of, quite gloopy. And what you want to do, you want to just spread it all over everything. Don't worry about what it looks like because you get a sponge later on and like sponge it and it'll make it nice and smooth. But what you, the most important thing is to get it all on. So I'm going to do a little bit then I'll turn the camera off. So get a bit. This is a small tool, this is a square trowel. But you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. So really just sort of lay it all on look like this. Like I said, don't worry about like missing bits and all that at the moment. Just get as much on as you can before it goes off. I'll do half it and then I'll turn the camera off and then... Um... And you can give it a couple of coats if you have to, if it doesn't like, all take the first time. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to stop the camera there and um, I'll get back to you when it's all done. Okay, right, so I've spread it all on. You can see it's in a right mess at the moment. Can you see that on camera? Uh, I'm not sure how, but it's not exactly tidy at the moment. But what we're going to do now, we're going to leave it to go off. Not fully, but just, I've got a mist of it there. I've got to leave it to dry a bit. So when it starts to pull in, then you can get a sponge and rub it up and it comes up real kind of smoother sort of thing. Uh, I've left these bits here because they're awkward, so I'll do. I'll let the, to finish all this off, and then I'll do these after. So re repeat the process again. On the doorway, the chimney, and that little chimney here. I'm going to do that afterwards. But you might just want to smooth some of the really heavy bits down, like that. Just go around it. Make sure you put everything on first, though, because once it's on, that means it's starting to go off. You know. Because if you start playing with just one little area, that goes off and you've wasted all your plaster. Or your filler in this case. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry for a bit now. And I'll get back to you. Okay, actually while I'm waiting for, the, for that to dry, I just want to show you the tree in the background. Look, I've covered that with more paper, stuck it in there. And I'm going to put filler on that, but that's still wet. So I'm going to leave that to dry until probably tomorrow. And then put some filler over that and bark it, basically. Which I'll show you how to do that another day when it's when I'm ready to do it. So, okay. So I've got my old crappy sponge. Can you see? All right. All right there's my old crappy like washing up sponge, and it's still a bit wet. But I'm just going to show you. You just got to like kind of do little semicircles or whatever little circles just to flatten it down a bit if you do that all over it's a bit wet at the moment but i'm doing it anyway because you can go over it again when it starts to dry more just to kind of get it workable and so it takes the shape of what we want i don't know if you're seeing this all right it probably doesn't even show up on video i don't know but it's real quick as well you know I mean, it doesn't take long to do it just to like knock down the edges and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and I'll, I'm gonna do the rest and probably go over it again anyway, so. Okay, just to show you quickly, where I've got a bit of extra filler, what's left over from the, from the, the hut, I'm just gonna spread over the floor there just to use it up and I've already filled in this bit here, as you can probably see. And again, it needs tidying up, but I'm just gonna spread it all across there just to use it up. Just an idea. Okay, so I've just put a sponge over all this here, just to rough it up a bit to make it look more like ground. I'll probably go over it again with other stuff anyway. And I've cleaned my tools off so they're all nice and clean, so they, so the, the filler doesn't go hard on it and all that. And now I'm just going to, like I said, wait for this to go a bit drier. It's getting there. It's quite quick stuff. What am I using? I'm using Easy Fill. 60 I think it's for like plasterboard and stuff like that really but yeah that's what I'm using to you but you can use whatever you want anyway be back soon okay so now that is started to 
pretty much dry now, look dry to the touch. So I'm just going to let the sponge and just go over again, just to give it a bit more smooth down. Like I say, it hasn't got to be perfect or nothing because it's an old rubbishy hut in it sort of thing. It's not like a new build. <laughs> so you see it's starting to slightly get smoother. But again, like I say, you don't want it too smooth because it's got to look that like kind of rough and ready look, isn't it? So I don't know if you can see the difference on camera from that and that. I'll probably do that again. I'll leave it another 20 minutes to go over that bit again as well. But I'm going to do the whole lot off camera. And then I'll show you it should all look sort of more settled down sort of thing. Okay. Okay, so that is pretty much flattened down. I'm going to leave that enough. So I left the first lot about an hour before I started to flatten down, before I just started doing this. So I'm going to leave that probably about another half an hour and probably go over it again just to get the little lines out. I mean, I'm being a bit fussy, you don't really need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, it's the next day and this is all dry now. Look at that. All nice and dry. So now I've got to use the filler to just bring these bits out and the chimney, the two chimneys. What I'm going to do first though is give it a coat of PVA. Just to kind of it's good for the, anyway, you know, it kind of seals it in nicely and it gives it a bit more strength. It takes seconds, so why not? And plus it seals the edge, so when I fill up here, it doesn't go dry too quick. So I'm just going to do that quickly. I'll do that on camera because it's so quick anyway. That will do. Make sure I've got everywhere. And all that does is give it a bit more elasticity with the PO. Water down PVA like 4 and 1 or something like that. Doesn't have to be precise. So that's done. And now, after that, I'm going to leave that to dry for a bit and I'm going to start putting the filler on, on the tree. I mean, yeah, on the tree here. So I'm going to fill out this tree now. I'm going to do it off camera though because I can't do this too handy. It's a very tight space in here, so it's going to be a bit awkward. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I've just uh, done the tree. It's not finished yet. I don't know if you can see it. Let me I'll zoom in a bit. So it looks like that at the moment, but that's not the finished job because what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, I've got an old tooth, where is it? Old toothbrush here, which is, I've took the bottom handle bit off so I can get in there. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna brush it down to make it look like bark. So with this old toothbrush, look. So I'll be back when I've done that. Or I might show you, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it to dry for about ten minutes first. Okay. So while I'm waiting for the tree to dry a bit, so I can uh, bark it, I've just laid laid this on on the chimneys and the thing. And what I'm doing just to go around the edges and just with a bit of water and a brush just tidying up the edges a bit so because it will dry quicker on the edges and just trying to get it to a rough shape nothing too fancy at the moment but you know just to get that kind of roundness you know what I mean so that, like that I'll do a bit on the chimney as well can you see this it's hard to do it when I've got a camera going as well See what I mean? It kind of just gives it the shape already without taking too much off of it. And you don't want it to dry around the edge bit. I'm too high up, aren't I? Bugger. Let me just adjust that a little bit. I'll go like that. Okay, yeah, so I'm just like I said, I'm just going around the edges like this with the brush just to keep it a little bit damp. And that's that, really, anyway. <laughs> okay, so I've cleaned my tools up. All my tools are clean, look, nice and clean. I've got a bit of water. 
And I've just come back and this is going in quite quick. The, let me decide, let me move this out. Oh, sure. Okay, so the, the tree is dried quite quick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start using my brush and trying to bark it, make it look a little more like bark. So I'm just going to pull down like this, look. Can you see what I'm doing? Bloody annoying this is, hang on. So I'm going to keep brushing the tree down like that with the toothbrush. And it should give it a bark effect, hopefully. I've done this before, so it does come out all right, usually. Especially once you've got a bit of paint on it and stuff. And it's dead easy as well. It's not exactly a skillful job. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, if it shows any difference. Let me turn the light on. I'm not sure if it's actually showing up on camera again, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. This is actually perfect the way this has gone off. It's about 10 minutes it took and it's gone right off. So obviously you wanna go from up to down sort of thing. You want to go sideways, always it'll look weird, wouldn't it? Obviously. <laughs> so up or down. And I think that will probably, well, let's have a bit in there. Look at that. Look at that look. I think that will do. This bit of the back end, no one's going to see this at the back anyway, because the hut's going to cover it, which I'll show you now, actually. It should just sit in there lovely. It should sit around about like that. Pull back a bit. So that's the tree bark almost. I'm just going to wash back these edges to keep it all clean. And yeah, leave it to dry. See you again tomorrow. Okay, this is starting to dry a bit now, so I'm going to get the sponge on it like I did yesterday. So, let me make sure you can see. So the same thing as yesterday really, I don't know why I'm bothering showing you this again really, but anyway, just go really lightly with the sponge. It's a bit wet actually, this sponge, I should have rinsed it off a bit more, there you go. Just to get it flattened down a little bit. But again, it doesn't really matter because it's... A mud hut, you know, I mean, it's not like new work, so. A bit on the chimney here. So this is like rounded, so you've got to make sure you try and keep the shape of the entrance, at least a little bit anyway. So if you don't get it the first one, you can always go over it again. I think that'll do. Right Alright, I'm going to leave that like that. I think that'll probably do actually. So I'll let that dry until tomorrow. And yeah, I'll leave that till tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be dry. And we'll crack on from there. Okay. Okay, it's the next day and uh, everything is now totally dry. And I've just fitted an LED light into the top there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Just It's a stick on one. And the battery and I'll just hide in the switch. I'll hide somewhere in the diorama. I'll just turn it on and see what it looks like. See, I don't know if it comes from here. So yeah, you see that shining through. Let me turn the light off. There you go, so that's what it's shining like. That should look quite good. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give it a base coat of a watered down brown, I think. So I'm going to use a bit of this magic fly. I'm going to add a little bit of water just to give it a first coat. I think it's a greeny brown kind of look in the in the picture I've got anyway. Kind of, yeah, so I'm just going to do that now quickly. Okay, so I've got my brown. I've put a, bit, a little bit of water in it just to water it down a bit, just to get it spreading. 
And then I'm just going to lash it on. Oh, so it's only a base coat, so. And the diorama, which is in my garage, overnight it was quite damp, so it hasn't dried yet, so I'm going to have to leave that another day. Anyway, I won't bore you with doing this all on camera. I'll just pause it and get back to you when it's done. Okay, so I've given that a uh, brown coat of, like I said, this magic, magic fly saddle brown. So now I will leave that to dry, obviously, and um, I won't be doing anything to that until it goes actually in by the tree in the diorama, and then it'll be all weathered with washes of green and all sorts and I'll, I'll be getting little like branches coming over and things like that the battery I've got to hide somewhere and the switch I'll find somewhere to hide that I think I've got an idea for that but I'm not sure yet and yeah so I'm going to leave that to dry now that's going to stay out here until I'm ready to put it in the diorama like I said I've got to wait for my tree to dry because it like I said last night it was really damp and it's still wet so yeah we'll leave it there Okay, so this is three days later and now it's dry. I had to bring it inside because it was just too damp outside to do it, for it to dry. So I brought it in for the night, left the heating on and now it's bone dry. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give this all a coat of PVA just to seal it in again okay, and give PVA it a bit of elasticity. Uh, it's been about yeah. six hours. Anyway, now I'm going to give it a coat of brown. And uh, I'll get back to you. Well, actually... Well, you don't need to see me do it. So there's a brown. I'll put a bit of water in with it. I'm going to mix it up quickly and then I'll get back. Okay, so that's all at its base coat now. Uh, I'm going to leave that to dry, obviously, overnight. I'll just put that in there to show you. That's going to sit in there, around there, sort of thing. And the next step is probably to start bringing in branches and stuff over this and stuff like that. So it's all going to get messed up in filler again, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so um, I'm going to fit the light into the hut now. So what I've done, I've 3D printed a box, and I put the battery in the box, and the switch is on top here. So like that, you can see that on off at the top. And now I'm going to just uh, glue it glue the light into the hut I'll do that off camera also I'm going to paint the scene in grey so I've got my grey so I'm just going to give that ceiling you can see a bit of a grey coat not that it's going to matter because I'm going to put loads of kind of greenery and stuff around here hanging and stuff like that so. okay I've just fitted the light I'll show you that now so that's what it looks like obviously there's a few gaps but I've got a filling still uh, and I've painted the ceiling grey, just a quick coat. And now I'm going to start fixing this for good. The hut's going to be fixed for good now. And I'm going to start bringing branches over it and stuff like that. Okay, so now I've got some strips of newspaper and I've just twisted it around to make a uh, sort of branch shape. I'm going to dip that in PVA. And then start laying it over bits like this, down like that and stuff like that. And then after that I'll fill it over. So I might as well uh, just do the first one. I haven't put no PVA in there yet. But... Okay. So can you see that? Okay, here's my PVA. Dipping this in. Just soaking it. Getting it nice and all soaked. Keeping it all twisted sort of thing, you know, don't let it kind of unravel itself. And then I'm just going to start, I'm going to stick one over there and just leave that there like that. Make sure your hut's in the right place. Oh, that's moved. Okay, that should stay in a minute. It wants it, well, I'm going to put that in a minute. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing that, bring another branches over. Okay, as you can see, I've done a bit. Let me just get the camera. My hands are sticky with PVA. Take my glove off. So you see, I've done a bit. It doesn't look too good at the moment, does it? But I'm going to put filler over all that. And I'll probably do it with my hands. It's going to get really messy. I'm just going to smear filler over that later on. 
and use that brush again, the toothbrush to brush it all down like I did the bark on the tree. Uh, to cut the paper, how I do it, just to show you, to make, like the easiest way I've found is, let me just put that there. So I get the paper like hard like that, and just pull down like that, and it gives it in stripes like that, and then you can like twist it up or do what you want with it. Sort of thing, you know, you know what I mean? So. There you go. Okay, so that's pretty much oh, done now. I'm going to leave all these. These are all separate branches here. And I'll just let that to dry. Don't know how long it's going to take. It's peeing down outside. You probably can't see that, but it's wet. Um, I'm going to leave that to dry. A day or two, maybe. Who knows? Might be a week. And then I'll be back. Later. Okay, so the paper mache is dried. It's about three days later since I've done the paper mache, all these branches and stuff. So I've just put the filler, I didn't bother doing it on camera because you've already seen me do it before, but I did like put this on my fingers, all of these little branches and the big stuff with a little trowel and stuff. But now I'm gonna leave that to dry for a day or two. It's quite good weather now, so it's quite sunny out there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, quite sunny. So maybe that'll be ready in a day or two. It's already starting to dry, but it's gotta be bone dried to paint on it. Once it's dry, I'll give it another paint of brown again. I might change all this background as well because it's getting a bit messy. So I might cut all this background pictures out and reprint it and shape it back in sort of thing. But anyway, that's it for now. Okay, so all this is dry now. So I'm going to give it a coat of brown and get back. Okay, so that's the coat of brown on it now. So next I'm going to start probably weathering it all up and stuff like that, but I might do the ceiling do some like uh, branches come out of the tree on the ceiling so I might flip the whole thing over and do the same thing again but I won't do it on camera because you've already seen it once okay so, so I've yeah, finished we'll the, uh, the tree now I've done it on the roof as well put some uh, some like branches coming out there and now I'm going to give it a, a wash of red to make it like a red wood tree sort of look and then probably go over with a bit of um black wash after that just to tone it down again so I'm going to do that now and I'll be back okay so I just put a bit of red red wash over the tree you probably think it looks a bit too red now but I'm going to darken that down again a bit so there's just going to be a hint of red coming through it all after that so I'll probably do either a really dark brown or a black wash over the tree now well once it's dry and I'll be back okay the red wash is uh, pretty much dry now now I'm going to go over it with a bit, a bit of black and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just given that a black uh, brown wash. Now I think I'm going to paint the actual putt. I'm going to give it a green. I'm not sure if I'm going to wash it or not yet. Use a green wash or just give it a... So what have I got? I've got Humbrol 91 black green or green black I think it's called. So I'm going to use that just to go on the hut for now. I might go over the whole thing later on with a wash anyway, but we'll see. Okay, so I've just put a bit of black green on it. Um, I'm gonna let that dry now and probably go over the whole lot with a black wash or a very dark green wash or something over the tree and everything just to kind of blend it in a bit better. Okay, so I've turned the diorama upside down now so I could put this foliage in this stuff right here, all this, and this stuff is uh, Countryside Scenics it's called, it comes in this bag like that, and I've run out so I've got to order some more, but what I've also got is this, um, this stuff called Scrubby, now I got this idea from Red, Wack Red Raggins uh, Dioramas, he was making a Hoff diorama as well and he, I saw his uh, his video of it on YouTube and yeah so that's what gave me the idea and all I've done is dye it a different colour well you know darker green so can you see that so it's a darker green look. but it's loads of it I think it costs about six quid or something like that isn't hardly anything so that's gonna make up a lot of the foliage in there I reckon anyway I'll get, get done and get back to you okay so now I've done the ceiling all the foliage on the ceiling I don't know if you can see that or what, but for now, anyway. And now I've started um, putting some 
bits of green just to make it like uh, moss and stuff on the so what I'm doing is getting a bit of PVA just putting it over like that little bits and getting some of this stuff the country scenics like grass I think it is and just sprinkling it on and I'll let that go off and whatever's left I'll get a hoover and hoover the rest off so it's not so um anyway I'm going to carry on with that now okay so I finished uh, doing the foliage and stuff pretty much I'll probably do a little bit more later but now I'm going to try and concentrate on doing the resin water which I've got a kit to do that which is called epoxy resin kit 24 hour curing time uh, never used this before so we'll just have to see how it goes so I'm gonna I've got this bit of plastic plastic uh, I think it's called styrene yeah styrene so I'm gonna like mastic it to that to give it a to give it a, a barrier and um, yeah, see how it goes. Hopefully, it'll turn out alright. This has actually got. It's actually got a bit. Of, if you can see that, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but it's got plastic on it. So if it sticks, at least it'll only stick to the plastic. Hopefully, I'll be able to deal with it. And I might put some Vaseline on it as well to stop it sticking, stop the resin sticking to it for when I take it off. So yeah, I'm going to get that all stuck on now and leave it to dry probably 24 hours or so. Then I'll be resin, epoxy resin, the water with a dash of green in it, I think. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I've boarded up the side. Um, I've sealed it all up around 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 all these edges here. I don't know if I can get in there and see it, but not really. So I've sealed up along those edges, right along along there. Hopefully it's going to hold, I've taped it up. Like I say, I've never done this before, so we're going to have to wait and see. So I'm going to go knock up the resin now. It's only 50-50 uh, hardener and resin with a bit of green I'm going to put in it. So I'm not going to do that on video. It sounds quite straightforward. Like I say, I've never done it before. I put a little stick in there that I've got out of the garden as well. Just to kind of, I don't know, make it look more realistic, I guess. Alright, let's see how we go. Okay, so I've mixed uh, the resin, epoxy resin up, put a bit of green in it. It looks very dark at the moment, but I'm hoping once I put it in, it won't look too bad. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to do it off camera because I need two hands to get it in there. It's quite a tight space. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. So I've just poured the epoxy resin in and it doesn't look too bad. I did put a, uh, like a lighter on it to get any bubbles out, but there wasn't many anyway, really. I mean, like I said, it's a swamp, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm just hoping it dries like it's supposed to because I'm not sure if I've got the right stuff here. Time will tell. 24 hours at least, it says. So I'm going to leave it at that. See you later. Okay, it's uh, 24 hours later now. I'm gonna take the bit of plastic off what was holding the resin. Fingers crossed, eh? I've never done this, like I said before, so hopefully it don't, it feels hard on top, so. Let's go for it. It might take a bit of a while, I don't know. Ok, 
Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's not too good, really, is it? Ugh, grease everywhere. So obviously I'm going to do a lot of tidying up here. Hmm. Maybe I'll get a sander on it just to kind of get the. There's a little. Okay, it might just clean up actually. Okay, so I've took it off anyway. Um, I'm going to pause it there and give it a good clean up, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've cleaned it, the edge off now of all the mastic and stuff, and the the Vaseline worked quite well, I have to say. You can see the edge is not too bad. Um, I'm going to get a bit of uh, wet and dry on it, I think, and just go over it again. I hope that's what you're supposed to do, because that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'll give it a quick uh, wet and dry and see if I can get it a bit cleaner. And this bit of wood here, I'm going to paint like a dark green. You're not going to see it anyway, because when I put um, a border here, later on when I've done the whole when I finished the whole whole diorama I'll be putting a like edging around the sides to tidy it up same with the hoff edges around here anyway I'll be back soon okay so I gave it a bit of wet and, wet and dry sandpaper on the edge here which has brought it up a bit cleaner um, I've got a couple of chips in it there there and there uh, it's taken the edge down though there was a sharp edge on there so I think that's much better uh, it does look a bit too see-through clean sort of thing for swamp water so I think I might put a bit of PVA on top to kind of give it a bit of a ripple effect or something like that. hopefully that's going to work as well first time doing that so we'll see okay I've just put a load of PVA on the top to give it a ripple effect um, and then I'm using a straw to blow on it to kind of shape it a bit I'm hoping this is going to work so we'll find out okay guys I think that's done all finished let's give you a quick look around it so um, obviously I finished the water I put the PV on it's kind of uh, dried a bit white but I think it's okay looks a bit kind of you know stormy sort of thing doesn't it so yeah, that's it. All finished. The figures there. There's the ceiling. Well, I hope you liked it. I'll well, have a look at this one first as well. There's a hoff. And I've still got another all this to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to put here yet exactly. Uh, maybe a uh, Anakin versus Obi Wan over this side. Maybe cut it in half and put something else here as well. I'm not sure yet what, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh... We'll never get it out now. So certain are you. Always with you, what cannot be done. Do you not think that I say? Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No, no different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. 